The subject that I want to discuss today is a subject that's uh, close to my heart, uh, critical to my profession, and I believe vital for democracy, human dignity, and personal liberty. The subject is freedom of expression. You know, the case for freedom of expression was made long ago, and among the most eloquent proponents was John Milton, and his ideas helped set the course for our own principles today. In 1644, Milton wrote this, give me the liberty to know, to utter, and to argue freely according to conscience, above all liberties. Today, in much of the world, that liberty is either non-existent or in jeopardy. I arrived in the middle of the night in New Delhi with my husband to begin our first overseas assignment. I was then a reporter for the Washington Post, and my husband, Steve Wiseman, had just finished five years as a White House correspondent for the New York Times. I was 28 years old and had been no farther from the United States than Europe. I still remember, Tom will remember this, stepping out of the door of the plane. This was long before the um, completion of the modern Indira Gandhi International Airport, and being assaulted by the, by the dense fog and the overpowering, smoky sweet smell of burning cow dung fires that people used for cooking and to keep warm. At our house on Prithvi Raj Road, the best address I will ever have, I wrote my stories for the Washington Post on a manual typewriter, not even an IBM Selectric, and certainly not the computer I was used to because of all the power failures. 